This is our story about Sheffield Mencap and Gateway that first opened in 1951, 70 years ago this year. It all began in, on Brunswick Street in 1951 when parents set up a charity for their children with learning disabilities. It was called the Sheffield Society for Mentally Handicapped Children. Here is a picture of the Mount on Brunswick Street. In the early days, they were based at Brunswick Street. They had a snooker table. This picture is a bit blurred, but it's the same one that's in the snooker room today. Do you recognise it? They had a garden fate in Enclift Park to raise money. Here they are, doing some country walking. This is the original Norfolk Lodge. It looks like crumpling because it's old, so they knocked it down. Norfolk Lodge got its name from the Duke of Norfolk, who owned its house on the site and the park next door. They raised money to build a new Norfolk Lodge by holding its grand charity hall in March of 1971. Dinner, wines and cabaret was all for five guineas per head. That's five pounds, 25 pence in today's decimal money. There was dancing to Colin Whitehead and his band until 1am. Here are some of the guests at the ball. One of them is wearing a dicky bow and smoking a pipe. Smoking is a nasty habit and it is bad for your health and it may kill. Here they are looking at the cheque for all, for all the money they raised at a function for the benefit of Sheffield Mencamp held at the Chatsworth House and the Variety Club of Great Britain. Hairstyles were different in those days. One of the men were, has very long whiskers. It was called a walrus moustache. Construction began in 1971. This is the Deputy Lord Mayor digging the first turf. This is the new building being constructed. You can see all the rubble from the old building. This is what became the coffee bar with the pillars that are in the walls now. You can see the doors at the back of the kitchens. And the windows in the art room are on the right. This is the Duke of Devonshire who opened our building in 1974. You can still see the plaque in our corridor today. This is the Duke of Devonshire in the corridor. The Duke of Devonshire owned Chatsworth House in Derbyshire. In the 1970s, Gateway started a youth or social club in the evenings. They had plenty of minibuses to pick people up and bring them to Mencup and return them home. In this picture you can see an old bagger in the car park and also four of our minibuses through the trees. They planned the to build a new gym in 1982. Here's the sports hall today. It was opened on Sunday, 25th of this September 83 by the Lord Mayor of Sheffield Councillor Dr. Peter Jones. The plug is above the goal beside the gym cupboard. With care in the community, people were moving out of big hospitals and hostels to live in the community. The so big ho hospitals like Grenoside were closing down, so they needed more activities in the days. This was the old administration building of Grenoside Hospital. The rest was demolished. 
In 1987, there were three-day time afternoon groups, Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays. Our minibuses did over 47,000 miles in the year to September. And that was just going round the town to pick people up. In 1988, Savio Community Transport started and its minibuses brought many people to Maincap. This is one of our minibuses. In 1990, Gateway had four evening clubs. Senior Gateways Mondays and Wednesdays, Teen Gateways on Tuesdays and Junior Gateways on Friday. And in 1994, Super Tram came to Sheffield. People at Sheffield Mancap campaigned to get a tram stop at Park Range Craft so people could come to Mancap. In 1997, they went to the Special Olympics in Portsmouth on the 28th of June. The original PTI started in 1999. It stands for Progression Towards Independence. It ran on a Monday and Tuesday, and this is the leaflet from 2001. They offer personal and social development, the world around us, expressing your thoughts and feelings through art, design, music and dance. On Thursday and Friday, they had day services, enjoyable and relaxing activities, for the day, the year 2000 was a very eventful year at Mencap. Shine Out on Saturday started is a performance arts group for youngsters aged between 8 and 16 years. Out and About also commenced in that year, going out in the evenings and weekends too. The Sunday Lunch Club was launched on the 9th of November 2000 a monthly lunch club for older folk and families. In 2002, it had almost 40 people each month. In this special picture, they are having a Christmas lunch in the coffee bar. The Caring Sharing Project also has a Keep In Touch service. Here they are going on a canal trip. This is a gathering of the Carers Outreach Project in the coffee bar, COPE. The Caring Sharing Project also organises yearly health checks and gives out more information and updates. In the year 2000, they went to the Lord Mayor's Parade. The boards show the achievements of Sheffield Mencup over the decades. So it comes to uh, go to Blackpool. You can walk around to Blackpool and see a seaside tree, some seagulls. And the Blackpool Tower was is in the picture. You can go fishing to catch your tuna fish and chips and male souls. Makeup and Gateway is built on Park Range Road and in 2007 on the 25th of June, the water came down from Monotop and flooded Mencap. A sign read, Welcome to Sheffield Mencap and Gateway, but it was flooded out. People were standing in the car park in their bare feet, getting a foot bath free of charge. Inside the corridors were mud and they needed new carpets. 
and it was closed for the week. The fireman had to pump it back out and lay some sandbags. Here's the flooded car park. You can see the back of the cottage and still it is raining. On Friday, December the 4th, 2009, the IT suite opened. To mark the 60th anniversary, we let off loads of balloons in the sky. We put our address on them so anyone who found our balloons could get in touch. The balloons flew over to the city of Sheffield and then they flew across the North Sea over Holland and into Germany. Four people replied to us, all from Germany. They were Anna Istort from Ochtrop, Bettina Gronberg from Osterworth, Janice Re Rees from Stafelberg, and Petra Fro Fromage near Hamburg. In 2011, they buried the time capsule somewhere behind the porter cabin. It is not to be dug up until 2051 when men cut will be a century old. In 2012, the Olympic torch came to Mencap on its way to the London Olympics. The gym was newly renovated in 2012. They gave it new spongy flooring with markings. In 2013, the First Day Writers Group released a book called Nowhere the Warmth Can Escape. They had lots of the students' stories and poems with lots of pictures as well. This is a photo from the book's launch in the Sheffield Star. This is a photo of the revamped Snoozle Inn. The new multimedia system had light displays, bubble tubes, floaty chill out music, very soothing. And relaxing. Today it is called Activity on Learning Hub with learning on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and activities on Thursday and Fridays. Courses we have done are creative writing, nature, world history, prehistoric creatures, famous people in history, famous people from Sheffield, environment and road safety. Money management, local areas of Sheffield, computing, woodwork, craft, sport, reading and writing, poems and rhymes, filming, photography, coursework, which we all love to do. We also get certificates. On Thursdays, they do creative writing, sports and fitnesses, arts and crafts, with buzzy bees, cooking and drama. On Fridays, they do Menka. Your choice, doing projects chosen by members, gardening, sewing and arts. We have also done sports activities in the sports hall and sometimes outdoors, weather permitting. have done some brilliant artwork with paint, felt tops, clay, paper mache, etc. Here we are, felting in the art room.
have done some serious plays in front of audiences at the Sheffield Crucible Theatre. We have been on canal trips. Here they are in the Sheffield Canal. They also have a walking group. We have done some eating out. We have children's groups as well as adults. Here they are doing craft work. They do ribbon gymnastics and it's very colourful. Yeah, show me some skills. Wow. <laughs> we have made beautiful Mancat movies. Films we have made are The Great Space Bake Off, our Western movie, The Wild Wild West, and our history of Sheffield. They did dancing, singing, and playing musical instruments, painting, and making new friends. We have made things out of wood, like bird boxes for those little birds in the winter. On holiday hub, we could go on the train. We've been to York Railway Museum, the Leeds Armory, Cleeforks, Doncaster, Halifax, Yorkshire Wildlife Parks, and the mystery trip to the, trip to the zoos. Sometimes they got soaked. And each year we have a Christmas fair and, and you can find all kinds of everything. There are hot dogs, lucky dips, ornaments and books to read and brick and brack also. For the Christmas fair, Christine collected lots of teddy bears she did a stall of games, and when people won, they got to pick up one of her teddies as a prize. She raised lots of money. The games were spin the wheel, and the winner collected a lot of teddies. <laughs> we have cooked various dishes and cakes in our kitchen. We have learnt important information about the environment. This is me in my t shirt reminding consumers to switch off lights and other electrical appliances. Turn it off or I will nab you. The number of staff at Sheffield Mancup has changed over the years. Very sadly, we lost a lot of our, our social workers due to government cuts. Here's the staff on an away day doing African drumming. Nearly forgot the executive committee. The Executive Committee trustees oversee the management of Sheffield Mancat on all legal and administrative stuff. Here they are holding a meeting in the art room. 2020 to 2021 was a miserable year for Mencat because of lockdown. Mencat was closed for much of the year and when we reopened there were so many restrictions. No gatherings, social distancing, temperature taking sanitizing. We were all stuck in the same room for all day long. It was never a good year for our anniversary. We can only hope things will get better in the next 70 years. The end for now.